Hey everybody, how are you doing? Arnie Cap here. I'm thinking about you all. You're all um, weighing heavy on my heart. So I, I, uh, I hope that you're all doing well uh, at this point and that um, your, uh, your exposure to what's going on with this virus uh, has been limited and, uh, and minimal um, and has had um, little to no impact on your life. And uh, if, if it has impacted your life in some way, shape or form, um, my prayers are with you that you're going to get through it and that uh, everything is going to be okay. I, I, yesterday, for whatever reason, I went through a moment of thinking about um, all of my family and friends uh, that are up in the New York, New Jersey area. Um, and I just, uh, I just felt an extreme amount of, of anguish for them. I thought about relatives that I have out in Italy and wondering how this has impacted them. I follow a few Capitanellis um, on Instagram and the like that are uh, out of Ancona, Italy, which is where my grandfather is from. You know, for me, it's it's really hard to believe that I, I was going through my YouTube channel and um, I was <laughs> looking at all those videos that I shot uh, a week before the new year and then of course leading up to the new year and we were talking about 2020 being this this uh, this year of perfect clarity and perfect vision and yet it's never been more murky. It's never been like we're just in this state of unclarity, right? And um, I talked heavily about connection uh, in the beginning of at the beginning of the year, and now here we are practicing social distancing and quarantines and stuff like that. Now, I think this is one of those times where social media just becomes so important because we can stay connected to people um, and we can interact and we can share our our moments uh, with each other um, as we're as we're going through this process. As many of you know, I've been go I've gone through seven straight days of conference calls of talking about how to not do business. I, you know, there's, there's nothing more debilitating to a sales professional than having to talk about not doing business. Like how do we properly not do business? And it's debilitating, it's, it's burdensome. I was thinking about uh, a phrase that Mickey Hudson, who is um, my daughter's speech and debate, uh, speech and forensics coach from high school, uh, her freshman year had us all wearing t-shirts that said control what you can control and i think about this time that we're in right now and i go okay what what can we do so of course uh, you know i'm gonna jump on the covid acronym bandwagon as it were and um i took the 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 letters of covid and i said well what can we do here we can control our vision our identity and our decisions control our vision our identity and our decisions and um at the, it's you know it's in these moments where we can um really shake our our fist at the heavens and go why is this happening or we can drop to our knees and go help me understand what is happening we can take these moments and we can uh, find rage and anger um over over the circumstances, or we can take these moments and figure out what the lesson is to be learned. You know, there's this phrase that people use. It's, uh, you know, everything happens for a reason. And I'm like, I don't know. I mean, that that phrase seems horrifically cliche um, and, and terribly convenient at times. I even think that phrase is somewhat insulting. I know that there are a lot of people who are in pain right now. And the last thing they want to hear is everything happens for a reason because their response is going to be, well, yeah, okay, so tell me what the reason is. Help me understand what the reason is. Um, I, I would prefer to say everything happens for a decision. So again, I've got this, this control our, our vision, our identity, and our decisions. So the first thing we can do is we can mock up in our minds, we can create a vision for how we want things to play out and particularly how we want things to play out when we come out of this thing. Like what's our new lease on life? What's our new clarity? What's our new consideration for the vision of 2020? We're gonna lose a couple of weeks here, but at the end of the day, can we come out of this thing with a new vision for 2020? And then there's identity. 
How are you perceiving yourself? What are you doing for yourself? How are you remaining confident and with high self-worth? Are you reading? Are you practicing good health and good fitness? And what, what do you identify with as a person? Like this gives you an unbelievable opportunity to truly identify with what you were created to do and, and, and how to live out your creation. And then the D is decisions. Like you've got, we, we've got this hand dealt to us. And so what we do now with these circumstances, the decisions that we make, the thoughts that we have, the insights that it creates and the decisions that we make are ours to own right? We may not be able to control the circumstances, but we certainly can control the decisions that we're making. So control our vision, our identity, and our decisions. And so um, that's what I'm really kind of mulling over this morning as I go through this period of dealing with thousands of people who are in a um, really kind of a, um, a state of of turmoil, a, a state of flux, a state of variation. And um, if I can help provide some sort of, of insight uh, around how to deal with these dark, ominous uh, moments in our life, I want you to remember this one thing. You were created from scratch.